Hello and welcome to Retro Stamp Cave. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you two stamp albums that I have just picked up now from auction. They were blind buys, it was risky but I didn't pay much for them. Um, the first album was listed as UK Great Britain stamps various uh, ages. The second album was listed as world stamps various ages. So I don't know what's in it, so it's going to be a surprise for me. You're going to be seeing it at the same time. So let's take a look inside these two auction stamp albums. Fingers crossed. Okay, so let's have a look through this album that I paid less than £10 for. So we start off with quite a lot of modern, I say modern, obviously from you know 1952 onwards. Um, really nice Highland Cow set down here. Some Christmas uh, stamps up the top. If you do see anything in this album that you think I should be taking a closer look at, give me a shout. Again, we've got some uh, more modern stuff. Prince Charles and Diana, this was the wedding stamp, commemorated the wedding. Um, very nice, some Highland scenes there from Scotland. Got some more modern stuff here. We got a nice set of nine years yeah, at Charles Darwin. I forget now, I'm pretty sure it is. It's been, you know, I don't see what the mark is on there. Shropshire. So we've got a Shropshire mark on there, cancel. A Shropshire cancel on that one. Nice set of four there. We've got the um, dinosaur, Trianosaurus. More modern stuff here, quite low value, 2p, 2.5p. These are nice. These commemorate the postage um, carriages. We've got the Hollyhead to Liverpool. We have the um, the Thunderstorm, the Norwich Thunderstorm of 1827. We've got the Attack on the Exeter Mail from 1816. And we've got the original Bath Mail carriage here. What year was that? 1784. That's pretty nice. I'll have to check out the cancellations on these. We've got more modern stuff here, some Christmas uh, stamps, RNLI, the uh, lifeboat service, more modern stuff, Christmas stuff, more RNLI. Lovely colours here from the modern stuff. We've got a nice set of nine. Fox and um, winter time probably what, 80s set of nine there and we've got this one which is Mrs Gaskell from North and South more of those Charles and Diana a little bit older here it's nice that they've separate, uh, separated them into colours we've got photography by Bill Brandt some more Christmas stuff this is the industrial stamps from 1986. We've got two there from the set. Some more modern stuff. More of those industrial stamps and Christmas stuff at the bottom. Okay, these are quite interesting. We've got some of these to pay stamps here. And um, some of the older ones. Got a nice five pound one here. What's this one? That's another five pound one there. Probably 70s, late 70s. These are nice. Not a bad, not a bad buy so far, I would say. Especially how it's, it's going to make this a lot easier for me to sort out. And as you can see here, it's all put in colour coded, you know, uh, years, they're all together in one batch. It's very cool. Um, that's nice, we've got a sheet slide there. Two pounds, some higher value stuff. One pound, no five pounds on here though. Some more of the industrial stamps at the bottom. More of those Charles and Diana, I don't know how many of those I need. Um, I may put some in some blind bags if I send them out. This is a nice one here up here on its lonesome. We've got a two and six postage. Um, a bit of a messy cancellation on it. You 
but still I might need that for my personal collection which I'll be showing you at some point over the next few months love this set of stamps here really psychedelic sort of 60s vibe to it early 70s vibe you know really vivid colors I'm gonna have to find out who the artist is on these um, and check it out I think that one's my favorite the one with the boot and the matches and we've got a block of stamps here on its back this must have come from here Ah, it's nothing interesting really uh, must have cancellation mark on it Sussex we're getting a little bit older up here in this top top half section of the page we've got some commemoratives at the bottom some Christmas stuff um, some lovely water, some lovely air uh, cancellations on these. I will check for watermarks and the perforations. Um, yeah, I like these. These are going to have a closer look. I'll have a closer look at those ones and these ones. Very nice. Yeah. So again, he's put them all together in one little section, so it's easy for me to pick out what I want to have a look at. Queen Mother up here with some Christmas. A little bit older in this middle section of the album got some nice ones up here just pull this one out as an example um, I've seen quite a few that I will be sliding into my personal album it's nice how they're all color coded so we sort of batch them together in the different color tones obviously there's some slight variations in them but that's the fun isn't it really some older stuff down here in between we've got some modern commemorative very cool some more older stuff down here <coughs> okay we've got the ford and the austin got a lot of, i can see through through this now we've got a lot of those castle stamps and um, i do have a full set of these some of them have fallen out, which I will put back if I can. Um, but yeah, very nice. More modern stuff, Christmas stuff. Some nice colour tones. Some what we got up to now, uh, 14 pence. Again, nicely presented page. Very nice. Um, got 16th birthday of Her Majesty the Queen. Commemorative. Pass on the postcode, it says. Again, displayed very nicely. Very easy for me to look for. Got some trout and some perch down here. Salmon. If you're into collecting, you know, animals or fish stamps. Got them down here. Commonwealth Day, March 1983, the year I was born. Got one loose here. This is another one of those Commonwealth Days. Look at the cancellation on this. World's greatest hobby. I think that's about right, don't you? Some more Christmas stamps, etc. Um, got stamps there. I think that was. I forget the name of that selection of stamps, but it was for the disabilities and disabled. I think that's the guide dog one. Some more of the Ford Austin. We've got a, a block of 12 of the Marine Timekeeper number four. Unhinged, still got the glue on. Very nice, all the gums still intact. It's pretty cool. That's the St. Valentine's Day. I think we're coming to the last page now, or is that the last page? That was the last page. So that's not bad, yeah? I paid, what, £10 for that? Book in auction. So what do you think? So that was it. That was my first album that I got from auction yesterday. Picked it up this morning. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Remember, I paid less than £10 for this album. That works out at about $11, $12, or about 11, 12 euros. 
10 pounds for all that not too bad eh in my next video i'll show you the second album that i picked up which was labeled as worldwide stamps various ages that's all it said so we'll show that uh, that album in the next video until then everybody stay safe and i will see you next time on the retro pay stamps